And while I'm here standing just outside um, the airport in Bembecula um, in the Hebrides, you can maybe hear the plane sound of the plane taking off. And I'm here as part of my 100 street meetings and the 100 days tour in the referendum. And it's been here three days and it's been great fun. The idea that politics is dull and boring, this is the antidote to um, open air meetings, busy meetings, great conversations, good debate with undecided voters starting in Stornoway and a public street meeting in the harbour. Got a chance to go for a run there, um, which was good fun as well. Been in the South Harris Agricultural Show doing a street meeting on my um, Iron Brew Crate. Um, been in the Killing um, Shellfish Factory in Ballyvadder Town Hall. I guess it was a town hall, so it wasn't officially a street meeting, but we'll count it anyway. And what, tell me, and you can listen to folk at the South, the South Harris Agricultural Show um, who most of their livestock. Um, uh, end up in English markets. You come to the Killing Shelf Fish Factory and most of their um, produce is exported um, and they rely on being part of the United Kingdom as part of that as well. And you come here um, and just behind me, I don't know if you can see, I think there's a British Army truck there and uh, just in the, we're here in the shadow of the US firing range tests um, weapons for the Ministry of Defence largely. 200 great jobs depend on the relationship with the Ministry of Defence. If we leave the UK, we leave the Ministry of Defence, it's a bit like shipbuilding in a Clyde. We leave the UK, we leave the Royal Navy. The Royal Navy doesn't build complex warships in foreign countries. And here we leave the UK, we leave the Ministry of Defence. And I know what a close call it was about keeping this place open back in 2009. And we made the right decision back then. But the uncertainty um, of the referendum and the, kind of, the fact that if we ended up with a yes vote, um, we'd leave the Ministry of Defence as part of leaving the United Kingdom and those jobs would be in jeopardy. And I have met workers here over the past day or so and they know that. So despite the empty promises of the SNP about this range, they know themselves that the jobs would be in jeopardy. So whatever I've come over the last three days, whether it's in the agricultural show, whether it's in the shelf um, fish factory, whether it's here in the firing range, that kind of interconnectivity of these islands with the rest of Scotland, but also with the rest of the United Kingdom, is crucially important. So it's been great fun being here. Um, it's been great meeting so many local people, packed public meetings. And one of the things the journalists asked me was, yeah, but there are more um, um, banners and fields for the Yes campaign. And I know, I know the trite responses say, yeah, but fields don't vote. Um, but when I'm around about, I can, there's a silent majority here who I think will go out and vote no thanks on the 18th of September and while a vocal and loud minority quite rightly and entirely intent to go out and campaign the kind of experience of so many of the crofters, so many of the workers in the shellfish factory, the, um, the people who work in the MOD base, they come up to me and say Jim I may not be campaigning but I'm going to go out there and vote no thanks on the 18th of September. So that's a great message for me to take from the visit to the islands. Um, Travelling in the ferry and car and plane as I have done over the past three days is that the silent majority are going to go out and fulfil their patriotic duty and vote no thanks and stay part of the UK 18th September. Thanks very much.